Hi everyone, this is Michelle Stelling with the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers and this is Q&A Tuesday and this question comes from Anissa from Texas. So she writes, how do you do the reverse outs um, where you have something that's going to be in color like maybe your eyes or um, a shirt or something like that, flowers, and then reverse it out and do everything else in black and white. So let's go ahead and do this step by step. Now this one is um, this one's just going to be a, a couple steps. You can do it several different ways. You can always usually do the same, um, re, find the same results, but doing it in different steps. So I'm just going to do it in a really basic step. And maybe in a couple weeks I'll show you another way you can do it, which is called masking. And that's kind of more an, an advanced kind of step-by-step um, -step action. But let's go ahead and do this one here. Start with the colored photo, and you will pick something out of that photo that you want to keep in color. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep the shirt in red, and everything else is going to be black and white. Now, in our membership area, I go into great detail on how to use all the different selection tools. Um, so if you are a member, make sure you go back into the members area and see, and just review those um, different selection tools. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and use the quick selection tool. If you press the A on your keyboard it'll take you right to it. And I'm just going to click and drag around the area that I want to keep in color. Now sometimes it will um, take more than what you want it to do just like it did here. Which is totally fine because you can go back in there and hold down the Alt key or the option on the Mac and that will give you a negative that will take away from that selection. Okay, so now I've got the negative and I'm going in there and I'm deselecting. Okay, so if you just release that Alt key, then that will go ahead and give you the plus. And if you press down the Alt or the Option key, it will take away from that selection. So right now we've got, we've got a pretty good selection. Another thing too, you always want to pay attention to if you have like a feather, if you put a feather on it or not. Now we didn't put a feather on that. The brush size was set to about 13, but there is not a feather. I didn't really need a feather, but if you wanted to put a slight feather on there, you could do that and just go select and feather and then put in maybe one or two pixels. I noticed something down here too that this should not be selected. So let me go back in and get my quick selection hold down the Alt key and then go in there and try to get that release it and then come back in see it keeps taking part well there we go that's perfect hold down the Alt key just to get that little bitty piece there and you can kind of zoom around here just to see how accurate that selection is I'm gonna double click on the zoom tool just to pull me back out a little bit and then the hand tool to bring me all the way back now next after I do have my selection, I'm, I'm happy with the selection, I could save that selection if I wanted to uh, by going into Select and Save Selection. I'm not going to here, but if you did take a lot of time to, to um, you know, get that selection, you might want to save that selection just in case you mess up. But I'm going to go ahead and pretend like everything's fine. I'm going to go to Select and Inverse, or you can go shift Control i now you have everything selected outside of that shirt. Then you can go up to Image and Convert. Uh, you know what, let's go into Enhance and Convert to Black and White. So go to Enhance and Convert to Black and White. Then it puts you into this other pop-up and you can kind of play around with the intensities. Okay, So just kind of, I don't know, figure out what you like as far as do you want that to be a really bright black and white are muted over here on the left hand side inside of this convert to black and white window you also have different options select a style you can do newspaper portrait scenic landscape and that might give you a good option as well okay I think I like this one I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK then you can go to select and deselect control D and there you have your little reverse out so have fun with it you can try it on eyes shirts flowers um, anything like that. 
but just have fun with it. Be sure to check us out at naods.com. Find out when our up and coming classes are. And take a look at the Q&A Tuesdays. I usually keep a couple of them in there from the past. Um, if you are a member, I'm going to start storing them inside the membership area. So they will be archived inside the membership area, so only members can uh, review those archived Q&A Tuesdays. If you like what we're doing, go ahead and hit the like, bucket, light, like button and share and give us some feedback. Also, if you're viewing this in Facebook, if you are not a member of us in Facebook yet, go to facebook.com slash learn photo editing, and uh, we'll be sure to keep you up to date. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.